Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley with InBroadcast. Joining me are Darren from ST Engineering and Ted of USSI Global. Thanks for being here. So STI, iDirect, and USS Global teamed up for this show. Can you discuss the story behind the partnership, Darren? Yeah, so we've been uh, partners with USSI Global for many years. And in 2024, the qualification of USSI Global as a global B part gold program uh, status holder, we've taken a new step in our relationship to move more of our broadcast business in North America, the US and Canada business, uh, specifically in the broadcast field uh, for sales support and uh, technical support of the product line through our partners at USSI Global and really expand our reach throughout the global uh, broadcast industry and again specifically what they're able to do for us in North America. And so what does USSI Global bring to the media and broadcasting market? Well we've um, been supporting the media and broadcast market for about 40 years now and uh, we have a specialty in really the distribution everything from building out a mux to the uplink downlink all the way out to you know the IRD inside uh, each MVPD or uh, affiliate that you might have um, and we've been working with uh, uh, ST Engineering I direct new tech uh, for quite a while now they have a very robust product and uh, we have a very strong services arm and we know everyone in North America so so far it's been a pretty good relationship and uh, we'd actually like to bring more managed services to the industry as well. Very nice. And what innovations is ST Engineering iDirect showcasing at NAB? Here in our booth, we have a uh, our new product, the multi uh, built-in redundancy. It's called the MCX8000 uh, satellite broadcast modulator, and it has again built-in redundancy. We're doing a BIS CA demo here in the booth. Uh, that's one product line that we're demonstrating. And we also have a solution called I, uh, Skyflow, which is IP native content distribution for OTT solutions. Uh, implementation of that that's been very public and had a lot, of, a lot of good press in the industry is in Peru, where we're able to distribute educational content and uh, traditional broadcast content to many of the rural areas and, and underserved areas of Peru. Uh, and able to take that not only to the traditional large format TV, but also to mobile devices. So where the population, again, has uh, access to maybe cell phones instead of a traditional you know, hang-on-the-wall TV, uh, they're still able to get the educational and, and news content through the Skyflow solution. Hmm? And now, Ted, what trends are you seeing emerge right now in the media and broadcasting market? Okay, well... Obviously, a lot of it is um, streaming. Streaming is not going anywhere. It's coming around, but it's still evolving because it's still not um, the kind of profitable model that they'd like. They're still getting a lot of their revenue from their traditional linear services. Uh, but we're seeing all the technology and infrastructure go to IP. So DVB, NIP, uh, ATSC 3.0, they all have a native IP layer. Um, and we're seeing more LEO constellations go up. So, um, you know, we'll see a lot of things with multi-orbit strategies. Um, you know, ST Engineering I direct, they have uh, multicast capability with some of their um, Skyflow ecosystem. So there's a lot of different use cases that can evolve with um, all this connectivity. So just because everything's IP streaming doesn't necessarily mean it's on a terrestrial network. So we, I live in the Space Coast, and I see rockets going up all the time. And uh, I think it's pretty exciting, and it's a great place to be um, working for this industry. Definitely. And what would you say the future will bring for ST Engineering, iDirect, and USSI Global? Darren, you want to start out yeah, with that? Sure. So again, with the, the demos we have uh, this year at the, at the show with Skyflow and with the MCX8000, um, and again, the BIS CA demo that we're, we're running here, um, the, the next thing really is what we launched at the Satellite 2024 show. Uh, our CEO, Don Clausen, launched our new Intuition platform, uh, which, as Ted was saying, is uh, bringing in a lot of virtualization, uh, multi-orbit capability to really serve um, high demand, uh, low latency bandwidth, along with traditional geo services, and really building that portfolio out around those services that are, again, as Ted said, access to spaces is cheaper and faster than it ever has been. Uh, so really taking the platform along with that journey, um, making sure our customers are enabled from a services capability 
um, the hardware they've invested in is able to be carried forward and really transition into the future with the industry. Yeah, we can always um, add a little bit to that. I think um, from um, a USSI's perspective, um, the multi-orbit strategies are pretty ex uh, exciting. There's uh, DIFI, which is this digital IF interface, mm -hmm. uh, which is also enabling a lot of the different things. So I think we're going to see a tremendous amount of efficiencies brought over satellite. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, a lot of IP distribution, contribution, people are going to be able to use all of this as a ubiquitous data network and you may not even know if it's over satellite or not. And that's kind of the, the, the end game altogether. Mm -hmm. And uh, to further that, USSI, uh, we do work with uh, LEO providers as well, and we can even provide uh, or help you get access to uh, LEO Constellation. So if you wanted to try LEO, see how it works for the media industry, we can help out with that. Same thing with um, you know the, the geo satellites. There's even spot beam satellites, and with their technology and our services, we can help you bridge that gap. Um, so those are a number of things, and then also data casting. We're also helping uh, the traditional broadcasters with uh, data casting use cases as well. Love that. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much, Darren and Ted. Thank, thank you very you. much. Hope you have a great rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.